Coming up, we look at a six mile question to do with gas exchange and the alveoli. We look at the science behind the alveoli and how gas exchange is possible. And we look at how to structure the answer. So today's six mark question is, explain how the alveoli are adapted for efficient gas exchange between air in the lungs and blood in the capillaries. And this is worth six marks. I suggest you pause it now to have a go, otherwise leave it running. So first of all, the command word in this question is explain. And if you get a question with explain, students are expected to make something clear or state the reasons for something happening. So this means for each point that you make, you need to have an explanatory sentence to back it up. Okay, let's look at the science behind the alveoli in the lungs. So the first thing we notice is there are millions and millions of alveoli inside the lungs. And each of those alveoli collectively add up to give a very large surface area for the exchange of gases. If we then look at the alveoli, one of the first features we can see is that the walls are very, very thin. And what this provides is a very short diffusion distance for gases. This means that oxygen can diffuse into the blood very easily and carbon dioxide can pass out very, very easily. And here we can see the red blood cells collecting the oxygen on their journey past the alveoli. So the diffusion distance is very, very important. The next thing we need to talk about is the differences in concentration of the gases in the alveoli compared to the blood. So when you take a deep breath in, a lot of oxygen goes into the alveoli and therefore the concentration is higher than that of the blood. Therefore, oxygen will diffuse from the alveoli into the blood. Now we keep that concentration gradient high because when the blood flows past the alveoli, it takes the oxygen away. That means there's always a lower concentration inside the blood than in the alveoli. Likewise with carbon dioxide, because your cells have been doing respiration and producing a lot of carbon dioxide, the concentration of carbon dioxide inside the blood is higher than that inside the alveoli. And therefore, the carbon dioxide will diffuse from the blood into the alveoli. And when you then breathe out and the carbon dioxide leaves, that keeps the concentration difference between the blood and the alveoli high. And therefore, carbon dioxide will keep diffusing out of the blood. So now we've looked at the science, let's go back to the question. So the question says, explain how the alveoli are adapted for efficient gas exchange between air in the lungs and blood in the capillaries. So we have to make the points about how they're adapted and then how that helps gas exchange. So the keywords we want to use will definitely be based around these three ideas. So the first one is to do with surface area. The next one is to do with the distance that oxygen and carbon dioxide have to diffuse, so diffusion distance. And the third thing I'd want to include is about how we keep the difference in concentration between those gases. So your answer should include those key areas. So let's start off with surface area. So for the marks, the first thing that we'd probably say about surface area is that there are millions of alveoli in the actual lungs. Okay, so we're making a point here. And the point basically is, is that by having millions of alveoli, that gives a large surface area for the exchange of gases. So that is the key point. But behind every point we make, we need to include an explanation. So by having millions of alveoli, which give a large surface area, this means that there'll be a greater rate of diffusion of gases. So there is my explanation. The next point would be about diffusion distance. So remember when we saw the video, we saw that the alveoli have very, very thin walls, and this enables the oxygen and the carbon dioxide to diffuse in or out of the blood very, very easily. So the alveoli walls are thin, this provides a short diffusion distance. So that's my point, but what I'd now need to include is the explanation. And that is, how does it make it more efficient for gas exchange? The idea is a shorter diffusion distance means that there will be a greater rate of diffusion of gases. There's my explanation. The next point all comes down to about keeping that difference in concentration of gases high between the alveoli and the actual blood. So the air inhaled has a high concentration of oxygen in it compared to the blood. 
That's the only way diffusion will really work. So that's the point that I'm making, okay? What I now need to do is provide an explanation behind that. So a large difference in concentration, or better word to use would say a high concentration gradient of oxygen results in a greater rate of diffusion of oxygen into the blood. So that's the explanation behind that. Now an additional point we might want to add here is by saying because the blood carries oxygen away from the alveoli, that helps to keep the concentration of oxygen low in the blood compared to that of the um, inside the alveoli. Also, blood has a high concentration of carbon dioxide than inhaled air, and that's because the cells are doing respiration, so we have more carbon dioxide in the blood than in the alveoli. So a large difference in concentration, or again we could use that phrase, a high concentration gradient of carbon dioxide, it results in a greater rate of diffusion out of the blood and into the alveoli. So there's another explanation. So for every point that you put down, you need to provide an explanation behind it. And that is the key with an explainer question as to how to get six marks. So how could you improve your answer for the future? Have a think about that. Uh, have another go at some of these six mark videos and uh, good luck.